Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the five super ridiculously overpriced items that I still want. Yes, even the price doesn't put me off. So let's just get straight into it. Let me just clarify something really quick. When I say not worth the price, I'm not saying the actual quality is bad or I'm not disrespecting the brand or even like the economy, like how things are going. It's just number to number. Like, do I think this is... Mm. Like luxury items of course are expensive, but like for what this is, yes, I think this is a, a bit overpriced. First thing on this hashtag priorities irrationale list is the Cartier Love Ring. And then so, let me just clarify something. I used to want, so I initially wanted the Cartier Love Ring and then I decided I wanted the Cartier Wedding Band because one, it is like thinner and I feel like because I have very small hands like if you ever saw my hand in person like if we shook hands my hand is very stubby and small so I just assumed that the wedding band would just look nicer with how short my fingers are and also it was cheaper it's like $700 cheaper because the original Cartier love ring the thicker one is about I think it's like $1,700 now. I remember when I was in high school and I really wanted one it was it was like a thousand dollars so that was maybe like almost no like 10 years ago exactly actually so in 10 years it jumped about like almost 50 percent i would say this is not to the best of my recollection but yes do i think that this little tiny just plain gold ring not a single diamond no nothing is worth 1700 dollars? no i don't but do i still want it oh oh yes i do so after going back and forth i i definitely think i want the wedding band one like in the future if i ever get married but I don't know for myself i think i would actually really like the regular love ring and i'm not gonna lie this is totally influenced so madison beer her super famous makeup tutorial i mean i've loved her before because she's just gorgeous but she stacks her love rings that i feel like a lot of people do but but seeing her stack the love rings i don't know i just i really really fell in love with just the thicker style i think it looks really cute i mean i feel like if i stacked three rings together or even two it would just be half my finger and it wouldn't look good but i don't know i really want it i think it's overpriced for sure but i really want it so uh that's the end of that Alrighty, so the next thing is you guys all know that i love handbags like i would put my money into handbags so one thing that i'm like really not about is like spending thousands like plural thousands not hundreds thousands of dollars on shoes i don't know that's a that's a really hard pill for me to swallow i know some of you guys would do that in a second same thing with maybe jackets or even like a trip to hawaii or something like you guys would be like oh check let's just drop 5k right there to go to hawaii and that is fantastic right but for me i've just never really i ugh. I think a thousand dollars on shoes is crazy. I think it's absurd because shoes, it's like I'm walking on the floor. These are going to get dirty. Even if they don't get dirty within the first month, they're going to get dirty at least like two years down the line. Do I really want to buy shoes that I have to think like I can't wear these shoes because they might get dirty? You know what I mean? It's not even just the comfort factor. It's purely like I can't, I can't shield my shoes from things, right? So if I have a nice bag and it starts raining, I could technically wrap my jacket cover my bag and like run and hide somewhere but let's say you're wearing shoes and it starts raining what am i gonna do take off my shoes and just run in socks okay so the second thing on my list that i think is so overpriced but i want it okay so it's not designer shoes i think designer shoes are overpriced period but specifically three pairs of shoes okay specific ones the balenciaga sock shoe you guys have not i've talked about this before uh the balenciaga triple s is not gonna lie to you lisa heavily influenced my love for these shoes and then third the chanel sneakers you know who has the best chanel sneaker collection that's heart she's like this filipino girl on youtube and instagram and she just has the best chanel shoe collection like she just does i'm gonna try to find some pictures here so you guys can see it it's crazy it's just goals of life um every other shoe i really could care less about like i don't care about the gucci shoes not saying that they're ugly just saying like i don't want to spend my money like i i could i could never spend my money on like those shoes but these designer shoes all three of these are over a thousand i think they're overpriced like overpriced for me i just want to reiterate that not saying the quality is better or anything but i just feel like they're overpriced for me i think they're too expensive i don't think they're worth the money but i want them i want them oh god they are so cute like the triple s's with like really chunky uh like bell-bottom jeans or 
just even like shorts would be super super cute like oh my god every time i see lisa wear the balenciaga triple s's i just i want them so bad the sock shoe more not for style honestly i just kind of want them everyone says they're so comfortable like i would just want to wear them like on the airplane even to the grocery store to the mall i run wear leggings and shorts all the time i just feel like it'd be a great thing to have and honestly i wouldn't have to worry about it getting dirty and stuff like that because the ones that i want are the black ones and then the chanel shoes well that i would probably only wear on special occasions being honest but oh gosh all the colors are so cute like i don't even want just the plain white and black ones i really just i love the design of like the chanel logo on the center and then just like the shape of everything it's just so a thousand like a million times cuter than the lv i don't even know what it's called i don't care to know what it's called versus like when you just see those two together like the lv one and the chanel one obviously this one wins hello like how cute this is and all the colors and it's cute i think they're overpriced this is why i haven't bit the bullet and bought the shoes i don't even want to try them on because i don't want to fall in love with them and then not be able to buy them you know what i mean so yeah the shoes okay so the third one is the last non-bag item and this is the item that i i know you're all gonna disagree with me you're gonna think that i'm crazy you're gonna be like maggie what are you thinking it is and i feel like i've mentioned this in a previous video before about how i think these are overpriced and uh they are it is a designer scrunchie yes i said it i'm sorry please don't stone me it's just uh, again black pink god like oh like they are just so influential not even just lisa though kaya gerber she is also a brand ambassador for celine and she oh my gosh well one she just wears a bunch of ava bags so i'm automatically on board with her okay because she loves ava bags and i love ava bags second though she was wearing the celine scrunchie in her most recent video i think it was either vogue or harper's bazaar i'm not sure and she said she loves it and i just saw it and it was so cute and then obviously lisa has hermes scrunchies i think jenny has hermes scrunchies it's just a thing now and i'm kind of about it because it's like an accessory i know it's stupid i i know it's stupid 500 dollars for a scrunchie do you know how many slip silk scrunchies i could buy you know what's even more hilarious is that i don't even buy slip silk scrunchies unless they're on sale because like the pack for five is like forty dollars and to me i'm like hm, forty dollars on scrunchies on five scrunchies now imagine five hundred dollars on one scrunchie <laughs> it's crazy i know and um i like nine out of ten nine point ten out of ten i'm not gonna buy this but i do want it i think it's overpriced for sure but i want it because how freaking cute is that like you can't lie to me and tell me that it's not cute you can tell me that it's overpriced you can tell me that you would never buy it but how cute would it be if you had a celine scrunchie an hermes scrunchie even a cute louis vuitton scrunchie on i don't know especially with like the orange and yellow i think it's just so cute i wouldn't want it if it's like velvet or something but i love that it's essentially one of their like bandos or their twillies turned into scrunchie i just really love that idea because i personally love twillies and yeah imagine if they made a scrunchie for every single twilly design i think that would just be so cute like honest come on just imagine like all the dior twillies in a scrunchie form huh <sighs> i think that would be so cute crazy overpriced 500 dollars. i don't think so but i think super cute would i buy it for 250 if i'm feeling crazy that day mm. be see mm, can i really judge not buying a scrunchie but spending two hundred dollars on a twilly so i've basically already passed that point of being that ridiculous that i've like i own what like three three twillies maybe even four well one was a gift but yeah i own three twillies so um just kidding i technically already jumped off that cliff so uh we shall digress and go on to bags that are overpriced okay so the last two things on my overpriced but i still want it list so i'm just gonna say the most obvious one and then the last thing is gonna be the one that's like kind of a surprise so we all know this chanel classic flaps i talk about it all the time i literally had a designated video on how i think the price increases are just ridiculous seven thousand dollars for a medium classic flap not even a jumbo okay a medium classic flap is sixty eight hundred dollars with tax probably like seventy three seventy four hundred dollars right you guys know my dream 
is to have a black classic flap and low-key a small uh, yellow caviar one the one that Maria has which you guys find it hilarious like I called her by her first name as if we're friends but we're not I just love her love her entire aesthetic everything not realistically I would love to get two more flaps so a black medium caviar and then I really genuinely do want a small yellow flap it, like exactly the one that she has so maybe in the future in like five to six years Mm, they'll come out with another pastel one but I'm going mm, because it's probably gonna be like ten thousand dollars by then I don't know we'll see we'll we'll cross that bridge when we need to but yeah I, I you guys know I really really think that they're overpriced so I'm just gonna cut that one really short you guys know I just I'm obsessed it's I don't really want to say like it's a classic for a reason I just I genuinely love the design I genuinely love the feel like when you feel the quilting of a classic flap and on top or just Chanel in general and on top of that the chain with the CC turn lock even the Mona Lisa like everything about a Chanel classic flap just like it's just oh it's so beautiful so yeah okay so the last bag I honestly wasn't a huge fan of it when it first got released like a couple years back I don't know there was just something about it that not that I disliked it it just I was just like I would rather get something else and then the more that I see people use it like more and more people not even Blackpink like just celebrities models I see campaign photos I'm just gonna say it let's just throw it out there first it's the LV Capucine bag any of the sizes honestly I really like the um, I think it's the mini or the BB size I'm not sure I have to double check or even the size bigger I don't know if that's called medium or small I don't know but I, I really love it and you know my favorite favorite detail about the capucine bag it's actually the little flower crest on the hardware when you bring the flap up and you see that little crest I think it's so so freaking cute like really like that little detail just like pulls me in but i don't know i just think it looks so elegant and i feel like i don't know how to describe it it just it lo genuinely looks very timeless to me kind of giving me like same vibes of lady dior vibes i mean they kind of have the same general concept with just like the handle and then the opening like that but i love that it's leather they do have like basket weaved versions of it i know blake lively really likes that one they have it in different colors they have it in like taupey grays uh beiges and reds really cool design seasonal ones too but lord that price tag i'm pretty sure a capucine bag is like five thousand dollars like maybe the tiny ones are like forty eight hundred dollars and yes i understand like the structure of it to make it but uh, i don't know i feel like lv though any leather piece from lv is crazy expensive like obviously leather should be more expensive than canvases but like I don't know i just feel like the way louis vuitton prices their leather pieces like they're all leather pieces are just like crazy upcharge i genuinely think the capucine like do i want to spend five thousand dollars on a louis vuitton bag not putting down louis vuitton but you know what i mean like come on come on wouldn't you rather spend that five thousand dollars on like a dior saddlebag or a lady dior or something like that like i really don't want to be spending five over five thousand dollars on a louis vuitton bag but i really do want it the capucine definitely did grow on me as i've gotten older period that's uh that's it if any of you guys own the capucine bags uh i'm jealous let me bow down to your greatness um i've even seen some capucine bags not for my liking but i do admire them from afar where it's all leather and then the handle is something exotic like python or something like that or i don't even know if it's real python or not but it's just a really cool little detailed touch so yeah Alrighty guys, so those are all the items that I think are crazy expensive and I don't want to spend money on them and I have not spent money on them but I really really want them you know how certain things where you're like oh that's nice like when you go into the mall or like a store and then you flip over the tag and you're like oh no 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 it's not that nice right and then you're like I don't want this I don't need this okay th these are not this moments it's like me walking into a Celine store and be like oh that's a cute scrunchie how much is this maybe like $75 flip it over $250 and you're like oh that's actually still really cute um i kind of still really want it i'm gonna hold on to this just you know spend as much time as i can with this in the store and then i'm gonna let it go at the very end <laughs> so yeah 
if you guys have any items that you know are just like so expensive but you still want it please let me know down in the comments and then we can discuss it to see if i think that's overpriced or vice versa so yeah as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys